Well, to shed more light on the president's participation in the summit, uh, the World Government Summit in uh, Dubai, we have the pleasure to have this uh, phone with uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, journalist and political analyst. Good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon to you and hello to the dear, the, the dear viewers. Thank you so much. Well, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, with Egypt being the guest of honor, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has participated in uh, the uh, World Government uh, um, uh, Summit in uh, Dubai. The importance of Egypt being the guest of honor in such an important uh, 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 summit in its 10th edition. Uh, I believe that uh, Egypt is a part uh, and a greater partner to the, the greater powers in the world who are leading the uh, economical uh, operations, and I believe uh, Egypt, Egypt's role, uh, leading role in this, <clears throat> this matter, is significant, and that's why uh, Egypt was invited to such an important international summit. Uh, we're talking about uh, Egyptian role, Egyptian uh, the, the Egyptian example that was set by Mr. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi for how uh, to improve and to build the basis of a better economy on the, base, on the new uh, measures, uh, the new measures, uh, the economical measures uh, that uh, modern economies should be built upon. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. President, in this summit, has expressed how uh, the Egyptian exper experiment uh, was set as a model for all, for all the new uh, nations, uh, economies that is trying to rebuild its, uh, uh, itself afterwards a uh, crisis that too many nations in, in the East especially uh, that has been through especially through the past, the past uh, decade, uh, I believe that uh, Mr. President has expressed how Egypt launched its, its um, stronger moves, stronger steps, uh, building our own economy, and not only to rebuild what was broken or, uh, or not even built from the, the first place, but to live it up to the highest model and highest measures and high standards of the, the modern economies. Uh, we're talking about uh, great experiments uh, that we have been through that uh, I believe the whole world is uh, looking, at, looking up at it uh, as, as uh, the best way that uh, uh, a growing economy uh, country should be. Yes, uh, so uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, as you've just mentioned uh, that the president have presented Egypt's developmental uh, model before uh, the uh, conference. The president uh, uh, have, um, have um, uh, spoke in uh, this model about uh, the infrastructure that Egypt have uh, implemented, the, uh, the health sector, the education, the social development, the, the sustainable development, uh, uh, many uh, uh, fields. Uh, so if you would uh, like to shed light on the main points uh, uh, during uh, the president presenting uh, the developmental model before uh, the conference. Well, I believe that uh, as we are speaking, we are ready to uh, reopen uh, the, uh, the great factories um, of, of, of Mahal al-Kubra, uh, of spinning and weaving and uh, uh, dyeing mills. We are to talking about too many mega projects that uh, no one, no one could imagine that Egypt was, would go through as uh, looking at the, the situation 10 years ago. Uh, not only uh, uh, agricultural, we're talking about industrial, we're talking about building more than 25 cities, new cities uh, built on the, on the highest measures. We're talking about a uh, green uh, economy. We're talking about uh, expanding uh, the, the programs to, to protect the, 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 the citizens in Egypt uh, as best as it should be or as, as best as it could be. 
uh, from uh, the, the, the new uh, economy uh, basis uh, with uh, modernizing our own economy's uh, measures. We're talking about uh, how to build a nation, not just help a nation to survive, but building a nation to be a leader in the in the in this uh, in the arena, the Arabic arena, and the African uh, the African arena and uh, arena and worldwide. Uh, Mr. President has led this country and leading it uh, on the highest level. That's why Egypt is always invited and a part of the greater and the, the important uh, summits uh, all over the world. We're talking about a G7. We're talking about G20. We're talking about our relations with the East and the West at the same time as we are improving uh, the laws of invest investments so, so we expand our uh, absorbing uh, investments from all, from all over the world. We're talking about our relations with our uh, brother, uh, brother in, uh, brothers in Arabic, the Arabic region. Like, like Emirates, like Saudi Arabia, like yes. Kuwait, like Bahrain, like yes, uh, Jordan. Actually, yes, actually, actually, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, the president have thanked uh, the countries uh, in the region for uh, supporting Egypt uh, and uh, said that Egypt would not have uh, do it uh, or uh, went through uh, this, these challenges uh, since the year 2011 except by the support by, with uh, other uh, Arab countries. Uh, actually, that was one of the points that uh, the uh, president have highlighted and he said, I can see two bright uh, dots or uh, points uh, in uh, since uh, that happened uh, through the past nine years. Among them is uh, the support of our uh, brothers uh, in the Arab countries. And the second thing uh, that the president have mentioned is uh, uh, the Egyptian citizen who was able uh, to bear uh, the pressure uh, of the challenges uh, that uh, uh, they went uh, through. So if you uh, would like to shed light on this, please. Okay, let me start uh, uh, with what you have uh, ended up with. I believe that the Egyptian uh, citizen is the greater uh, soldier and uh, under the leadership of Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi. We trust our president. That's why we bear, that's why we, we carry on, that's why we share uh, um, the efforts and uh, this is uh, the price we should pay if we really need to, to, to establish a new nation, a new uh, government, a new republic. We're talking about uh, the role of the, 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 uh, the ordinary citizen who is supporting the president and uh, the military association that's leading this country. This is, of course, one of the main uh, points without uh, citizens as working as soldiers under the leadership of Mr. President Abdel Sisi, we can never build this country. Second, yes. Mr. President has, of course, directed thanks to, to the leaders uh, of uh, Gulf countries, which, of course, we, we have earned this thanks. And we, be, we believe that we are grateful for the role in aiding uh, the Egyptian economy in this time of, uh, on, the, on the time of crisis. That the crisis is that uh, each and every nation in the whole world has suffered from, not only Egypt, but the whole world. Yes. Also, without the, the Egyptian role of clearing, clearing the whole area, from the whole arena, the whole region from the dangers of the terroristic groups and the terroristic regime of non-Muslim Brotherhood, I believe that this danger would have spread it to the whole countries all around us. So we have paid a large and a huge price fighting back the, the terroristic group and the terroristic uh, regime that uh, was uh, set down by, uh, was excluded by the whole na the Egyptian nation on the June 30 revolution. 
yes. a revolution that was led by the, the army and the nation at the same time. Yes. Uh, uh, so, Mr. Uh, Abdurrahman, also the president uh, uh, spoke about the new uh, cities uh, that were established and th said that the new, the new administrative uh, capital is not, is not the only uh, smart uh, and uh, capital in uh, Egypt. Because Egypt have uh, been establishing, uh, since he came to office, uh, around uh, 25 new uh, cities. And they are considered smart and integrated uh, cities. Uh, also, he uh, explained that the Egyptians uh, were living on 5% of the area uh, of uh, uh, Egypt. Uh, so, uh, how do you see this uh, description by uh, the president? And he was able to uh, show uh, how uh, uh, um, the, uh, the mentality and coping with the, uh, um, uh, the coming future uh, generation and uh, 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 by establishing the integrated cities like the new administrative capital, uh, the Alamein city, the uh, Galala Plateau and other uh, uh, cities of course. I believe that I have just mentioned that uh, the, the leadership of this country not only uh, rebuilt what was broken and it's still rebuilding in, in this uh, country, but also we have launched our uh, march, our uh, our own um, way of thinking, our own identity to build our own uh, economy uh, for the future, not just for uh, mending the wounds of yesterday. How about uh, the example of moving millions of, of citizens uh, who lived in slums into a, a, a new city, true new cities, not just houses just built for, for the crisis. No, we are talking about new cities for the whole, for, for citizens who live for, for decades in slums. I believe yes. that too many uh, cities were built uh, as a sign for the new uh, republic that we, ha we are building that the, for, for the whole nation, not just for uh, the, the cream of the society. We're talking yes. about the ordinary citizen. Yes. So, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, uh, also the president said uh, that what suits uh, 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 Egypt uh, uh, could not suit other uh, countries and uh, vice versa. And uh, the, he said that the path of the Egyptian government facing the challenges uh, is a role model that uh, uh, everyone should uh, abide uh, by. So uh, how do you see uh, uh, this uh, uh, statements by the president? This is, I believe this is the most important statement uh, given by uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah al yes. uh, This world is going through what they call it uh, a new revolution of uh, technology and uh, internet and um, information uh, revolution. Through this uh, uh, event or those um, uh, the, 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 new, the new way of uh, the world uh, is going through. Uh, they are trying to build a new world, but not taking care that there is a difference between the West and the East, and between the East and the West and the identity of a, of a leading country and a leading civilization like Egypt. Yes. We can never be a part of what they plan. We went to this summit and other uh, likewise summits to take only what's good for us, what suits our identity, what suits our way of living, our, way of, uh, our, our religion, our uh, tradition. Not just to follow, but to take only what, what's good for us, what suits us. Of course, we can only, uh, even, even, even in, in uh, the investments, uh, that uh, we, that we are welcoming from all over the world, we only uh, approve that uh, in those investments who are uh, compatible with our own measures of uh, of leading and uh, under, under the umbrella of our terms as a as a country. I believe that Egypt is building the the, 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 the that new strategy 
for the whole nation. Even other countries like uh, would like to share the same vision with us, like India. We are talk taking that path, that narrow, hard, but strong path between the East and the West, preserving our own identity, our own nation traditions, not going to, uh, following the East or not following the West. And, of course, this comes with a stronger economy that only gives us the strength of our decision and the independence of our decision. Yes, so Mr. Abdurrahman also, uh, uh, the president spoke about uh, the presidential health initiatives like uh, the uh, hepatitis C and also uh, 100 million health, uh, several initiatives uh, that were uh, uh, initiated uh, uh, by uh, the president in the field of uh, health. Such uh, initiatives has, uh, has been very positive. To, to millions uh, of citizens, of course, uh, 100 million uh, and uh, health care, and, and, and even eliminating uh, the existence of a disease like a virus C. This is very important and significant and saluted by the, the, organiza the international organiza organization like the WHO. I believe also something is very important here. It was preventing what was going on in the past decades when we were uh, importing uh, uh, matters from, uh, from uh, these units of existence like uh, uh, fertilizers and uh, seeds. This has totally stopped. This has protected, and we are protecting our own nation from bad diseases that was spreading in our own society. We are fighting back. And we are building within, and at the same time, we are taking care of this nation, of this nation, nation's health. We are taking care as a leader. Uh, that's how the president thinks. He takes care of, of his own nation like they are, they, they are and they are their own brothers, and the, uh, his, his own brothers and, and, uh, and, the, and the whole family of the president. Yes. Uh, also, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, the president spoke about combating terrorism and said that, that Egypt uh, now uh, is speaking about terrorism as a, uh, a memory. It's just a memory. It's something that was in the past, but it does not exist any uh, more. Uh, could you shed light on uh, this statement by the president and how uh, Egypt was successful to combat terrorism? Well, thanks to Allah that we have already established a great victory against not just a terroristic group, not just a terroristic organization. It, they, they were only the, the fingers of a greater uh, threat to, the, to, to, the, yes. to, to our nation, to the Arabic nation. The, 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 the main thing here that we are right uh, to the east, to the far east of our own borders, we are building our own new projects for gas uh, projects in Arish, yes. in, the, in, in Arish. Uh, 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 we are building our own new uh, gas pro yes, pro of projects, course. using yes. using it to to expand our own economy with dealing with other countries in Europe. Yes, yes. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, the writer and the political analyst. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a short break and I'm going to be back with you.